Gavin, welcome to the channel. And today we're in the M3 down in Salt Lake City to pick up someone that you just may recognize. You want some pictures of your cruiser? What? You want some pictures of the cruiser? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we got a lot of fun stuff planned for today, so here we go. <laughs> What's up, dude? It was beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> How's it going? Good. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, of course. How's your trip been? It's not too bad. No, it's it's not. Nice. Lacking some sports cars. Lacking some sports cars, yeah. dude. So how long have you been on the road now? Dude, it's been about a week. A little over a week. Well, for those of you who are meeting Quinn for the first time as well, he's got a E36 related YouTube channel as well called Menace. You can click this little card right here, head over to his channel, and subscribe if you're not already. So, dude. What do you think of the car? I'm, I'm interested to hear what you think because uh, you've got a lot more experiences with these things than I do. Yeah, this thing is clean. Cleaner than most. Much cleaner than most. I'm jealous of your wheels. Your oh, yeah? Wheels not <laughs> There's a few spots on like the driver's side where they've been hit. All right, guys. So we are up in Salt Lake driving up Immigration Canyon. We're going to have some fun driving on this road. But there's some things that I've personally been thinking about that I wanted to ask Quinn about and see what your thoughts are about them. Okay. And I don't think that it's it's any secret to anyone who watches your videos or who watches mine that we really like the E36. Oh, it's the best car I've ever So, I mean, that being said, I have still felt like there's a few things that I regret about buying my E36. Oh, okay. And so that's what yeah. I want to talk about today. Okay, all right, all right. So before I get into what I might regret, I want to know what your thoughts are on if you have any regrets with your specific E36s that you bought or even just the E36 in general. I don't regret buying an E36. E36s okay. are freaking incredible cars. I regret buying my first E36, my drop top, because of the condition I bought it in. I okay. bought it way too cheap. That car had way too many problems. It was insane. The top didn't work at all. It also leaked in the rain, so that sucked. And it bought it with a blown head gasket, so that's another freaking check mark. You can buy one that was in bad condition that is going to be an absolute nightmare to own. Oh, yeah. But these, not all of them are like that. These cars are totally the condition you buy them in. So my, my sedan is a 97 sedan, and it's a very good condition car, and I've had zero problems. I've daily driven it for about a year and a half now. But my first car was just a pile of junk in every way, and it was always breaking down. And that's how I learned to fix these freaking cars, because mine was always... <laughs> breaking and I never had enough money to go and get it fixed so I had to fix it myself. I think if we were to kind of boil down what you're saying is your regret is potentially buying an E36 that was in rough shape to begin with because it just was a load of headaches. Yeah I was more worried about getting the car than I was about getting a good condition car. But if you're gonna get an E36 take your time find a proper condition one and make sure it runs well because here's I, I'm like if I want something, I will do whatever it takes to get it like as soon as I need to. And that E36 was like the first one I grabbed. And as soon as I drove it, I was like, I'm sold. I'm getting this one. I didn't look into getting any other ones. I didn't look at any other cars. I didn't have the car inspected. I just drove it out once and I was like, this is it. I'm getting this car. And it leaked oil, leaked coolant. It had all sorts of problems. You got to find a good condition one. Okay. So besides that then, are there any other regrets that you can think of? Or is that pretty much it? Just buying one that's, that's not in the best condition to begin with. That's pretty much it, yeah. You never get an opportunity to hear what your own car sounds like, and this is a pretty good one. What's that? Oh, it's coming? Yeah, he's right behind you. He's right behind you? There goes that copper we met earlier. <laughs> that's lucky that you saw him because I didn't. Quinn approved, huh? Yeah, sounds good. This isn't quite the volume that I want. Let's try this corner here. There go. That's why these cars are fun. <laughs> okay, so I guess that being yours, here's mine. And it's right. a little bit different than yours. So we kind of talked about when we were having dinner, about me buying a car that was low miles and stuff because I wanted one that had uh, increasing values and stuff like that. Yes. Because of that and because of me looking at prices consistently 
and seeing them go up and up and up, that is totally based on the condition and how low the miles are, especially how low the miles are. So it makes me not want to drive the car. And you buy a car to drive it, right? Oh yeah. So that's the big downside for me is I want to drive this car all the time, but I feel like I can because I got to baby it. of July, man. 24th Utah July. holiday, Pioneer Day. <laughs> it's funny. I think it's time to head out. All right, my man. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Of course, absolutely. Right. You better. Later. Another day of reliable ripping. You did good. You did good. Unfortunately, Quinn actually had to catch a flight back to California from Salt Lake City, so I just dropped him off. But Quinn, it was great having you out here. I hope this isn't the last time that we'll do a collaboration. It gives me a good excuse to get my butt out to California and have you show me around your neck of the woods. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Don't forget to head over to Quinn's channel, like I said before, and subscribe to his as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Holy shit! 596? 583.